Learning shortcuts can really increase your workflow by a considerable amount. Today, I'm going to tell you my essential FL Studio shortcuts, so let's begin. So I'm going to fly through them, but I will explain the more complicated ones. So obviously we have Control or Command plus S to save, then Control or Command plus Shift and S to save as a new file. We also have Undo, which is Control and Z, so delete that Control and Z. But if we do multiple actions, let's say remove all of these, we press Control Alt Z. Excuse the Nvidia shadow play. We have Control and R to export as a wave. Then we have Control Shift R to export as MP3. If you have a number pad, you can press one through nine to change patterns. So if I want to go to pattern three, it'll take me there. Pattern four, five, six, and so on. You can also press the plus and minus on the number pad to go up and down through the patterns. On the channel rack, you can use the arrows to go up and down. Obviously click and drag to select multiple channels. We then have Control and L to send a channel straight to the mixer. And then you can do this with multiple channels as well. Obviously B is paint tool, C is slice tool, T a mute tool, Y is a playback tool. Control A is select tool, Control C is copy, Control V paste, and then we have Control X to cut, then Control left click to select, and Control B to paste clips to the right of selected clips. Press R to record, L to switch between song and pattern, Control and T to activate musical typing, you can also click this button up here. Bear in mind you can only do this with the VST or sampler open. Let's say you've got a lot of plugins open and remove everything from your screen, just press F12. You can move mixer tracks by pressing Alt and an arrow key. You can press Shift Control S to save the mixer channel state. You can also right click this, go file and then drag this onto another channel. If you press Alt and right click on the mute unmute function on the channel, then you can solo everything in a bus. So for me, I've got a drum bus here and it's soloed everything that goes to that bus. Backspace deactivates the snapping. Double right click on a ghost note brings you to that track. With everything selected, you can Alt Q to quickly quantize. You can also press Alt S for a strum feature that works best with chords. You can also press Alt A for an arpeggiator. Then you can hold Control and move up or down with the arrows for a change in octave. If you do the same but hold Shift, then you can go up a semitone. Now, if you hold Shift and go left and right, you can move it a step forward or back. Now, if you hold Alt and go left or right, it nudges it forward, left and right. Now, there are some of the shortcuts in FL Studio. There's too many to cover and you don't need to know all of them. These are the ones that I find most useful. So I hope this video can speed up your workflow within FL Studio. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.